for the global Star Wars X Disney TV and cinema advert. <laughs> It has been so long since I made a video on this channel. Now the reason I'm out today is because I'm going to do some drills. I'm going to condition some of my backflips. Key word for today is conditioning. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been really lazy recently. And out of the blue, I got contacted by this lovely woman on Facebook who happens to work for Disney, who wants to audition me to potentially be a part of their advert. So, I'm out here to get myself into gear and you get to see me do a bunch of backflips off of a tree or many trees if I get to do it on many trees. So it should be interesting. I'll have more on the topic of drilling and conditioning in a few moments. And we're finally here at a spot where I can drill my backflips. One thing that no one really tells you when you start out, or no one really told me, is that when you learn something, the area that you learn it in can help you later on. For example, sometimes people forget how to do a backflip, so they need to go to the gym, have someone spot them before they can regain that muscle memory. And this is the same for a few other moves that you may learn outside. I'm currently here in Archbishop Park, and back when I started out, this was literally the stumping ground for a lot of us. We used to go all along South Bank, Vauxhall walls, to the slopes, to the steps, and Archbishop Park was one of those spots because we had a sand pitch just over that way. And one thing that I learned here at Archbishop Park was how to do a wall flip off of a tree. Behind me is that tree. Since then, it's been a couple of years, maybe eight or nine years, and I'm back here to try and recuperate some of that muscle memory that I had. Because I have to be honest, over the past couple of months, I've been so lazy to the point where some of the moves that I could do before, I can't do it at the moment. I, well, I can do it, I'm just not as confident as I was before. So, coming to a spot where I learned the trick helps me regain that trick. So, this is the part where you get to watch me do a bunch of backflips, and if you're lucky, I might bail. Fingers crossed I do it though. So my shoes keep slipping every time I like make contact with the tree. So I'm either gonna I'm either gonna try another tree or I'm just gonna call it a day and completely like not learn this move for the audition, which is kind of fine. I, I value my health and safety more than this role apparently. I'm gonna keep trying. I might need another tree though. Yeah! Oh my god. Yeah! Oh my god. 
hopefully, hopefully the camera caught that. I finally landed a good couple of wall flips on the tree. It may look super, super easy to the experienced tree runners, but I have been out of the game. Like I haven't done anything like that in, in a while. Um, and I'm so, so excited I can finally land it. So what happened there was I got a tourist, a random stranger, to just sort of stand and watch. And in a way I gave myself pressure to like go for it, to overcome the mental block. This is probably not the right way to go about it for you if you're a beginner, but if you're someone who's done this kind of thing before, sometimes that's all you need. You just need a bit of social pressure in order to commit. Like commitment is the key thing when it comes to those kind of flips. And you only, you only get really good at commitment if you condition continuously over and over and over and over and over again to the point where you know what to do in your body. The only thing you've got to look out for is like slippery surfaces, you've got to check your shoes, and if those two are all right, and the surface itself isn't weak, then you're good to go. And the social pressure gave me that. Mission accomplished. Now I can go home. I need to pick up the snack first. So I've come to what's the name of this road? Strutton Ground Road, which is in between a Nat West and the shopping complex towards Victoria. Bonne Bucci is a really, really good cat slash like pastry bakery. Uh, today is closed, but usually on a good day where it's open you can get some really really good sandwiches for about £1.50. Like you're getting Subway style sandwiches, maybe a bit thinner, but uh, just as good, you know, for like £1.50. If ever you're free and you're on your way to Victoria, definitely stop off at this place. Bonne Boucher. Okay, so I'm back home. I bought a little snack on the way, so I'm gonna try and keep this quick because I really, really wanna eat. Lessons I learned from today. I learned that even though I've got many years of experience under my belt as a free runner and someone who does parkour, I can still get the block, the mental block that you get when you start out. So if you're beginning, yeah. So if you're starting out with parkour and free running or you're like myself who is an experienced athlete or practitioner, then remember that drilling your moves and cleaning up your moves is always gonna be important. It's always gonna be super, super important, not only for the visuals and the aesthetics of your movement, but also for safety as well. You don't wanna try and do a wall flip and half-heartedly do it. You need to commit, and that's what the friendly stranger helped me realize. Commitment is key, commitment, commitment, commitment. Okay, so I also want to tell you that I haven't been posting here for a very long time. Uh, it's been a good couple of maybe one or two months, but just in general, I don't post here much. That's because I've been paying more attention to my career or what could possibly be my career. What's that? I hear you ask. Making videos. I want to at least be making money from this kind of thing and not just be doing it for a hobby, uh, as a hobby. <laughs> um, but yeah, this means recently I've been putting a lot of my energy into researching camera techniques, color, and just a lot of other things that go into making videos like the business side and whatnot. So I haven't been making many free running videos and I'm not gonna make these free running videos if there isn't a reason to. At the moment, the only reason to is just docu documenting it for myself so I can see how far I've come and learn from things and whatnot and then share my experiences with people in my social circle who bother to have a look at these videos. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, but at the same time, it's not something I'm going to continuously do if I'm not having some kind of dialect. I'm basically saying if you see these videos and you actually like what you're seeing, and you have questions or you have something you want to say, I implore you to like write it in the comment box underneath this video because one, it will give me a bit more motivation to make these videos and two, it will give me ideas in which I can make you watching this video more valuable. So what I mean by that is 
it's not just me talking to myself, but me talking to you as well and giving you some value through the fact that I do free running and parkour and that you know me. So yeah, uh, leave a comment in the comment box underneath this video if you found it interesting and I will see you in another video if I choose to make another video. Enjoy your day.